Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and today I'm going to discuss <laughs> if Rise of the Resistance is the best dark ride ever created. I know people have a lot of opinions about this, but I decided, I mean, it's such an incredible experience as, what we're, as we're going to discuss today, that I think Rise of the Resistance is the best dark ride <laughs> ever <laughs> created. Because there's so many great experiences in ones, and it even starts again right here, right from the queue. And come into the queue right here, and it's just so nice, so peaceful. And you're walking through the woods, and but you can tell it's like a resistance space, it's been pretty hidden away, and it's very themed and very immersive right from the start. You walk the, the entryway, even there's our turrets, <laughs> then you go into the mountains. When you go right, and you see in their base. You go right into side, in, right into the base, and it's it's like it reminds me of like Indiana Jones is cute. Um, how Indiana Jones like starts outside and the switchbacks by the snakes and the man in the temple. Then you go inside the temple. There's all these interactive elements, and all these things like all these uh, nooks and crannies in there it's amazing then there's pre-show elements just like here there's pre-show elements multiple pre-show elements this is what contributes to it being the best dark ride ever in my opinion because whether it's ray telling you appearing as a hologram and telling you uh a, the mission um, or you being transported on the mission, you're never getting broken into the story. And also, there's multiple ride systems here. This is a motion simulator people are standing simulator people are in. To transition to the next part of the ride, which is absolutely amazing that the ride basically, again, starts right there, kind of. And then you get to the transport, and then you're into the Star Destroyer. And it's really like you're in one. I mean, look how immersive. Is this absolutely incredible theming and immersion here? Um, none on the like since like, Indiana Jones. And before that, I before this ride, I think Indiana Jones was the best dark ride ever created. So this superseded Indiana Jones. And I definitely think this would be the best dark ride ever created. Because look, looks just like you're in the movie set. It's absolutely incredible. Then, after all that, you're actually on the ride this time. Now you're finally on the ride. And... You're greeted with more surprises. It's trackless, um, which provides a 360 degree viewing experience. There's lots of props and set pieces and animatronics mixed with screens, but the screens are very well placed. It, and the blast feels real, and there's again massive at ats for set pieces here. It's multiple levels, like Indiana Jones. Um, the only thing Indiana Jones doesn't have any screens, and has everything else this has, but just doesn't have any screens, and this is just more and more advanced than Indiana Jones. And definitely not on the likes of anything the theme park world has seen ever. Um, it's going to be very hard to top um, this attraction, which continues why, again, is for sure the best, in my opinion, the best dark ride ever. Look at those blasters. I mean, and then the 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 effect of how when it hit the gun hits the wall, the blast hits the wall, that yeah, the that effect there. And again, another rise is they imported a drop tower simulator in here. You get in here and then you drop like the tower of terror, but then immediately go back into Star Tours mode and you simulate all the way back down. Absolutely incredible. And uh, it still boggles my mind. Even though on the Imagination Story they kind of showed how it works, it boggles my mind how they were able to do a star uh, tower, uh, a drop tower simulator. And when you look at the Imagination Story on Disney Plus, it's like episode five or episode six, and they show you that um, the it's basically just two simulator pods, one for each vehicle. And a massive drop tower, and it drops down. Absolutely insane. This is for sure the best dark ride ever. It goes indoors, outdoors, and it looks super smooth. It's really, really smooth. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think this is the best dark ride ever? Have you been on Rise of, Rise of the Resistance yet? Whether at Disney World or Disneyland, um, do you like any other rides better than this? Like, or do you think any other rides 
oh yeah, or any other rides, dark rides are better than this. I'm not, like, don't put, like, nostalgia into it, but just, like, <laughs> based on practical effects. So, do you think it's, this is the best, or do you think this is not the best? Comment your thoughts below. As always, have a great day.